Hey guys, what's up? It's Scott. Let's keep it simple. And today I'm going to show you how to downgrade the 6.15.00 iPad baseband on an iPhone 3G. So first I'm just going to go ahead and show you that it is on 4.2.1. And it's also got the iPad baseband that you can see right there, 6.15.00. So what you're going to want to do is download the latest version of Red Snow. There will be a link provided in the description below. All right, and once that's done downloading, what you're going to want to do is open up the program and unzip it. So we'll launch Red Snow. And then we're going to go ahead and click Jailbreak. And we're going to go ahead and click downgrade from iPad baseband. And I'm going to unclick enable battery percentage. And then click next. Now we're going to want to make sure our iPhone is off. So I'm going to press and hold the power button. And make sure I press slide to power off. And then once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and click next. I'm going to hold the power button for three seconds. Then continue to press the power button and hold the home button for seven for 10 seconds. Then I'll let go of the power button and just press the home button for an additional 15 seconds. And then it'll say, please wait your while your build is being processed. And you'll see the iPhone turn white, flash, and then the rest of this process will take place on your iPhone. And eventually it'll say done, and then the rest of this process will take place on your iPhone. So we'll go ahead and speed that up for you a little bit. So eventually your iPhone will reboot, and when it does, we'll go ahead and check it out to see if it does in fact have a downgraded baseband. So we'll go to settings, general, and about, and we'll scroll on down. And it actually doesn't have anything for the modem firmware, which is quite strange. Okay, so what I did for this step was I plugged in my iPhone and I actually clicked restore and I didn't do a backup and I just restored it to a factory setting of 4.2.1 with iTunes. And once it's done restoring, you'll see your iPhone 3G with the 5.15.04 baseband. Now you will need to bypass the iTunes activation process by either having an official AT&T iPhone 3G SIM card. However, if you do not have that, you can still do this process with Snowbreeze. There will be a link for instructions on that in the description below.